Hello, this is Sandman99. And I'm Rugby5. And we're back with the adventures of G9-13. Indeed. The escaped Institute Synth, who is currently infected with FEV Sanguinarius. Now, uh, at the end of our last episode, we did ask for some comments to see whether viewers out there wanted to see us proceed with the vampirism thing or not. Yep. And we only got one comment saying that we would like to, uh, whether or not we would like to see it. And uh, I wasn't really too sure whether that fellow was just making a comment on the level of challenge of the game or whether he was in favor of it. So still kind of on the fence about that one. So I think what we're going to do to start off this episode is I'm going to head for Bunker Hill to the doctor. All right. Because uh, it doesn't sound to me like people are that interested one way or the other. And so we'll continue to uh, do this during daylight hours as much as possible, just because it's easier to see. Well, you can always get yourself infected again sometime in the future if people change their mind. Well, I'm sure it'll happen anyways on its own. So anyway, we're at the slog. Uh, last episode, we went to the hospital over in uh, uh, whatever that place is called there. Malden the uh, Medford Memorial Hospital, and we killed a whole bunch of super mutants for these guys, and I had enough resources to build a couple of gun turrets and put up a, a little bit of power and put in some water supply. Can't really do much else here because of uh, lack of resources right now. Because I'm going to have to spend some time off camera again, uh, connecting settlements and establishing the supply lines and that kind of thing in order to be able to develop this settlement properly. Yeah, fair, fair. But anyway, for the time being, we're going to head down the road here in the general direction of... Oh my. What's going on over there? Uh, you know what? They'll bet you there's a doctor right there. Because <laughs> I'll bet that's Doc Weathers, because he and his uh, guards, for some reason, like to shortcut through the Saugus Ironworks yard all the time. Are you going to go in there and uh, take care of business? Well, I'm not sure uh, what exactly they're shooting at. Well, it's going to be you real quick. There's another one there, I'm sure. Yep, ah. there's, there's Doc Weathers. I don't see any other hostiles on the ground right now. Well, maybe it's all clear then. Uh, they're just going after the ones up on the roof now. Mm. I guess just blowing up that car on general principles must have got the last guy that was on the ground over here. Possibly. Yeah, that's a bad guy. There he is again. So, uh, people watching may have noticed that I have... What Whoa. the... <laughs> okay, I guess we've uh, returned to uh, Skyrim LE. Yeah, well, it looks as though... Uh, uh, some people, or some things, still do, uh... Fall out of the sky. Fall out of the sky once in a while. Okay, is everything all good now? 
Anyway, as I was saying before that happened, um, I temporarily disabled the third person uh, behavior fix, which was the thing intended to stop the multiple reload bug. Because uh, in the last episode, we noticed that I was unable to reload this gun past two yep. shells. Something's out there. Uh oh, well now they're gonna pick a fight with the gunners. But uh, basically, oh, there's raiders there too. Wow, these guys are tough. Missiles. I heard a missile launcher. I think. Having a hard time uh, getting my explanation in here. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know for sure exactly, but I'm I think that there's a mod conflict between uh, the third person behavior fix and bullet counted reload. Ah, uh. that's that's my theory because I did have trouble with other guns as well, including uh, the the Seogrin inertia shotguns and and other guns that uh just were you know oh did your mic just cut out a partial oh you're back <laughs> yeah that was weird a partial reload right yeah um and i haven't added any new mods other than the third person behavior fix in a very long time like several months yeah so, I've come to the conclusion that it's probably a conflict between those two mods. Yeah. And so I decided that rather than having trouble reloading some of my uh, uh, favorite guns, that I would you know, just as soon see if I can just live with the other thing. But then it kind of resulted in uh, seemingly your your multiple reload bug is still gone. Well, I only actually saw it happen once since then. And so I'm assuming that uh, for the most part, it seems to have, you know, like may maybe some of the, the uh, scripts from the third person fix remained active after I disabled the mod. I don't... Because you're not always able to Ooh, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, boy. Whoa! You just Ow. got clipped by that. Yeah, I just got clipped by that. <laughs> well, I think we better get out of here. Doc Weathers is uh, very uh, uh, much a guy who looks for trouble by the looks of it. <laughs> there, we'll eat one, a couple of those. Well, I managed to whittle that thing down a little bit, so hopefully they can finish it off. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Or not. Oh, well, maybe they did. Someone down there is still shooting with uh, what looks like a break action laser or something there, though. Might yep. have been, it Onward might have been, with the journey they go. <laughs> yeah, it might have been easier and less hazardous to just go to Bunker Hill. <laughs> yeah, gunners. Break action later, laser. You'd, you'd think that uh, they'd just take the bridge. I, I mean, it doesn't look like it's working out for them either. Yeah, they all look a little bit crispy around the edges there, too. <laughs> Dangerous world out there. Good thing. <laughs> Am I right? Patch me up, Doc. You have any of those symptoms? Tell me about them. Got roughed up. Eh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. 
Okay. So th that ought to do All it. Time. Any yeah. other complaints? Well, I could get my addictions cured too, eh? Chem addiction, do you? All part mm -hmm. of good living, am I right? Let me give you something that'll flush out the aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, everything is is uh fixable all... by a needle. And that's that. <laughs> Anything else bothering you? I feel a lot better. Glad to hear it. Anything else? That was it. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, we're cured. Oh, it's all part of a doctor's line of work, right? Shooting uh, raiders and giving people needles. Yep. I guess we can go around and loot some of these dead bodies now. What just happened? Oh, there's more of that going on, but I think he's on his own now. Yeah, well, I think you've paid your due. Yeah, I helped him out over here. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Ah, boy, now we gotta go see him again. See, I had gotten the cannibal perk in preparation for possibly becoming a vampire. But, uh... Then... Yeah, I wonder if that's fixable with an antibiotic. I don't think so. Uh, let's see here. No. Okay. <laughs> All because you pressed the wrong button. Well, well, because it doubles, like they they have buttons that do double duty. Yep. And uh, jumping and uh, corpse feeding are is is one of those uh, buttons, right? Okay. Oh wow! Looks like he—he's way up there. Yeah, apparently. he's way up there. We'll catch up to him. He just walks on. You know, there's gunfire. He doesn't care. Doc, you have some sort of medical problem here, or are you just yanking my chain? Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. Tell me a <laughs> I got solution. I ate people by accident. Yeah. Yeah. See what's wrong with. Oh, me, look doctor. at that! You can specifically yeah, you cure dark craving. Let's flush your system. Uh Gonna burn like crazy <laughs> afterwards, all right? I guess I'll have to be careful about jumping near corpses now. Done. Now, is there anything else bothering you? No other complaints. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Make a move and I'll end you. Uh, slander. Wow. They're friendly types, right? Yeah. Friendly neighborhood doctor. Wow, they still look crispy. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they'll they'll get better eventually. But anyway, I guess now we can head back with our ill-gotten gains back to uh hey, have we got da, 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 uh, uh, Okay, well yeah, we haven't received a quest from uh, the of the Minutemen quest line regarding the forged. So, so where to now? Well, I don't know. We're going to have to decide that. I hadn't really gone much beyond planning to uh, go to Bunker Hill. But now, we need to go and... Uh, see if we can build a workbench here. There. 
I don't have any science, so I can't really do anything with that thing right now. Nice 50 cal sniper. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might just store it in the bench for now. Because I don't have any ammunition for the thing anyway. I've got like three rounds. Hey, you got three rounds. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, you're going to have to get these places all linked up. Yeah. Yeah, the ability to uh, share resources is pretty valuable, actually. So we'll put that in there. Yeah, I don't really have a good sniper rifle right now, but uh, like I say, I don't have any ammunition for the... Uh... Yep. Okay, so cause what, I'm, what I'm using right now mainly is just uh, uh, no scope, you know, iron scope. Uh, lever action shotgun. Yeah, for, iron sight lever for, action for, shotgun. Uh, you, you, you might have noticed that when I was shooting those guys even on the roof at Saugus Ironworks, I was uh, just using the shotgun. Anyway, we're going to have to crash now for a few hours, so... Oh, well. Shotgun does its purpose well enough. Yeah, except that I don't have a lot of shells for it. Because uh, since I've been leaning on the shotgun as a main weapon here fairly heavily. Yeah, you'll have to go pick up some more at some point. Yeah. So anyway, we need to decide what we're going to do. Well, we could go back and clean out College Square, I suppose, and uh, get some of those early Brotherhood of Steel quests out of the way. Alrighty. <clears throat> Simply because it's a good way to, you know, like level farm a little bit. And uh, we've got to get cleaned up a little here because we had some blood on us. It's a good way to level farm a little bit and also maybe get a uh, hold of some resources and that kind of thing that's needed in order to make life a little easier when it comes to connecting settlements and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's also kind of a logical step, I guess, in uh, um, gaining control of the Commonwealth, I suppose. Because we got this place that we've just gained control of as well. That could use a little bit of uh, development. Because what's going to happen is eventually is I'm going to start getting settlement attacks on some of these poorly defended settlements. And then I'll be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Trying to uh, rescue all of them, right? Yep. Damn super mutants. Makes me sick to think. <laughs> yeah, I don't like them very much either. She <laughs> likes them just as much as you do. Yeah. They're her favorite. I'm going to 
gonna have a quick look here and see if we've got uh any settlement defense or we have we have a lot of small side quests so we could go here and find any trace of brent savaldi remember from the the guy from oh uh, yep yep i know this this i seem a little bit aimless here today normally we have a little bit of a goal to follow and uh we follow it, but we seem to be in between major goals. Ah, well. A little bit of level farming here and there, and then you'll be ready to go and get moving. Yeah, I'm thinking that we do a little bit of level farming, and then uh, once we've managed to do that, then uh, maybe we can head off to Nuka World and continue with the... Uh, Wow. Huh. Wow. Did you see that? Yeah, he's trying to get up the rocks and he can't get up there properly. Yeah. Well, that was, uh... Lucky for me. Well, these kinds of things happen sometimes. Especially in Bethesda games. Well, you gotta try and take advantage. I, I consider that to be a tactical advantage, <laughs> not a... Right? Yep. It's a feature, not a bug. That's right. So, I remember the very first time that I did this, because you accelerate a great deal toward here, and I thought I was in deep trouble, but... As it turns out, everything is okay. Dead Raider. Shotgun shell and a stim pack. Might want to switch weapons. Oh, you did switch weapons. Never I, mind. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I switched weapons because uh, you uh, pick up 38 ammu cam or caliber ammunition everywhere, which is why I'm kind of sticking with this uh, little or pipe submachine gun. I was just thinking you might not want to use an explosive shotgun in this close quarters. Yeah, that too. <laughs> uh, nor on these things. No, it's kind of a waste. And there's Grandpa Savaldi's hat. And a copy of the Wasteland Survival Guide. A legendary one. Well, that's okay, because he's a dead one now. Yeah. And you didn't even have to reload. Reduces damage from mire lurks and bugs. Okay. I uh, normally don't bother with the armor pieces too much unless they have a damage reduction feature like that. Like the ones that are like minus damage from super mutants. Yeah, for example. yeah, like fifteen percent damage reduction from this or that, because uh, that fifteen percent damage reduction is actually a substantial benefit. Yeah, like the difference between getting one shot and surviving. Yeah. Whereas a lot of the other things, like the 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 one where uh, you're harder to damage when you're sprinting or something like that. I mean. How much time do you really spend sprinting in a gun battle? Yep. You know? I suppose if you're running away, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm harder to kill when I'm running away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll pause briefly because we're going back outside again. All right. And we're back. Yeah. And we're inside this uh, 
house that had the chained front door. And there's lots of good stuff to pick up in this house. So I recently started playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've had the game for quite a while, but uh, never really picked it up before. And uh, it's actually pretty good. Well, that's good. Um, I mean, it's obviously an older game, right? Like the, the graphically, it's a lot cruder than this game is. Mm -hmm. But uh, it actually has some things in it that I wish that they had kept in this game, much like the way that Oblivion compares to Skyrim, right? Yeah. And one of the big things that I noticed that I really liked is the uh, melee system. Because the melee system is actually very smooth in Fallout New Vegas, and it works very much like um, the, the melee system in Oblivion works, right? Where... Hmm, that's an awfully tough novice lock. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh oh, looks like I attracted someone's attention out there. <laughs> Raiders? Shit's got ambush all Looks like they got a vault suit guy wandering around with them too. <laughs> I wonder what's going on there. I'm never leaving Vault 81 again. Count on Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I guess uh, we rescued him and we got hey, yeah, that's what we could do. We could go to Vault 81. Okay. That might be fun. Okay, I think we've pretty much Picked up everything that's worth picking up inside this house. Anyway, back, getting back to, uh, uh, you know, if, you, if for just for comparison's sake, see, I've got this wonderful knife here, but when I, you know what I mean, like the, that's not very smooth, and uh, you know, like blocking is also kind of awkward. Whereas in uh, Fallout New Vegas. It feels a lot more like Oblivion did. Mm -hmm. You know, when you do the uh, um, melee thing. Yep. And to the point where I actually uh, carried a, a melee weapon and uh, used it in preference to other things. Especially because one thing that I noticed in that game is it is way harder to aim when you're shooting guns and stuff like that. You know, like this one here, the, the level of control that you have over what you're shooting just from the motion here. Yeah, from aiming down the sights. Yeah, is uh, much better than in Fallout New Vegas. In Fallout New Vegas, it seems like there's a little bit of sight bounce or something like that. And uh, also it's... The sensitivity is higher. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, exactly. It's very hard to make uh, fine, small adjustments. But anyway. I have managed to not get killed yet. I've been playing it now for a few hours. Just on uh, regular difficulty level. Yeah, just dip your feet in and get used to it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just something different to do, right? And, uh, of course, it's been out for a few years, and it came out a little bit after Oblivion, or around the same time, I think. So, yeah, a couple uh, years after. So it's got lots of mods for it and that kind of thing, too, although I didn't really download much in the way of mods. The, obviously, the character models are not as developed as they are in this game. Either. You know, and, and even the, the modded characters.
character models are, are not. I think that probably just because graphically speaking they didn't have the uh, tools to work with. Ooh, I haven't even been there yet. It could also be an art style thing too, right? I mean, uh, Oblivion, in my opinion, aged quite well. Well, I mean, you can you can tell though the difference because uh, in this one, everything looks much more. Um, searching for a word, uh, everything looks much more realistic, right? Like the bushes and everything, like the wrecked cars, the like just the the textures and the colors and everything else, right? I couldn't comment much on uh, Fallout 4's development because I don't really know uh, if they did the same thing, but uh, I know in Skyrim I think there was a big deal made over uh, drawing everything by hand and developing everything by hand instead of just like having pre-made pieces that you make things out of. Yeah, I don't know whether anything about that. All I All I can comment on is the results that I see, right? And I mean, even things like this guardrail, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like you compare the textures and, and uh, the way that this guardrail looks to the way that a guardrail, similar guardrail in uh, Fallout New Vegas looks. And in New Vegas, even that detail, it looks much cruder and, and uh, less detailed, right? Mm -hmm. That being said, though, play-wise, I mean, it is an interesting and kind of fun game to play. And fairly difficult. I guess it is the precursor to this in much the way that uh, Oblivion is the precursor to Skyrim, right? Yep. Yeah, you got one coming up behind oh. you. Uh, yeah. Sneaky. Was I rescuing some hapless settler again? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> you saved my life. Please, take this. Wow. Okay. You saved my life. I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know he was there. I was wondering why those dogs were running. Well, I guess there's a motto in that, right? Keep your mouth shut and good things happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I guess so, yeah. Well, better than being broke. I guess I could have cut the other side of... Uh, kind of going the long way around here. Although, in Fallout New Vegas, one thing that I did do is I encountered a couple of feral ghouls. And uh, I only encountered them once. And they're scary. Wow. And they talk. Right? Like, feral ghouls are... Uh, like, they, they don't... It's not like they carry on a normal conversation or anything, but they, they can say, like, single one or... You know, single word or two word phrases and that kind of thing, right? Mm hmm And follow New Vegas. Mostly having to do with, like, uh, die or something like that, right? But, uh... I was surprised. It's like, wow, they talk? Mm hmm Well... We just might hang on to this for a little bit, just because uh, we need another weapon to fall back on since we're running a little low on ammunition here. Hey, look, you found more 50 cal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got like 25 50 cal here. Yeah, well, you know, what can you do? Uh, I've got lots of 10 millimeter rounds. 
I'll take a few of those with me. Yeah, no shotgun shells. Well, you might just have to develop your settlements and switch to 50 cal for a while. See how much water I got. Uh, water, 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 water. Er. Mmm, packs of cigarettes. Okay. The next best thing, the water. But we do need to replenish our water supply a little bit. And then we'll drop off some of this excess weight. Carrying around. Oh, okay. Guess we don't need to carry that around. It's easier. Man, I like how you got like 150 pounds of carrying capacity available to you, and you're like, I've got too much weight. Well, because I like to loot, and <laughs> I like to be able to pick stuff up. And you can't pick anything up if you go out there already near your maximum weight allowance. So it's a good idea to start off at least traveling, you know, light. Or at least as much so as possible. Like we need to do a little cooking here too. Oh, there you go. That got rid of some weight. Yeah, yeah, those things are heavy. Okay, we'll drop that off. We'll drop a few of those off. I carry around 20 stim packs normally. If you need more than that, you're in deep trouble. Yeah, you're probably dead, huh? You're probably going to die if you need more than that. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe we'll go and do a bit of cooking here before we move on. Haven't done much with this place either. Going to have to spend some off-camera time developing settlements, I guess. You know, I swear you've said that for like the last two episodes at least. I did spend some time off-camera developing <laughs> settlements, but uh, I need to spend more of it now. <laughs> Okay, well, that ought to give us enough to eat for the next little while. Especially since I tend to use the food as healing items, too, because at least you don't have to put up with all the side effects and stuff that you get from other things. Okay, well, we'll continue on our way toward Cambridge here. Yep, you've got to have lots of fluids for your drugs. That's right. Even the drugs that are made of fluids. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just kind of a pain, but what can you... They did uh, make an effort to uh, make sure that in survival mode, these things actually mattered. going to be uh, yeah, gunners and uh, tackle her children of Adam. Oh, 
that guy's not dead yet. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now he's dead. Now he's in chunks. Yeah, those radiation guns are bad, eh? You don't want to get shot by one of those things. It looks like they both have one now. <laughs> I'm thinking you're going to have to get a little closer. Yeah, probably, because this isn't really the greatest scope in the world. Nor the greatest weapon for sniping. No, but it's what I've got right now. I guess I could switch to this uh, 10 millimeter pistol that I just picked up. Wherever it is, there it is. Yeah, it's got a bit of a scope on it too. <laughs> stick, your, stick your head out there. Surrender now. And that makes you real Ooh. Yeah. Let's uh take cover here behind this here thing. Oh, there he is. There, I got him. <laughs> One thing I noticed in Fallout New Vegas is that uh, 10 millimeter pistol is actually a pretty powerful weapon as far as you know, weapons that I've found up to this point anyway. So it's uh, one of the best weapons that I'm carrying right now. That game. In fact, I was surprised to note that a lot of weapons that were introduced into Fallout 4 via mods actually existed in the uh, vanilla uh, Fallout New Vegas game. Like grease guns? Like grease guns, for example. <laughs> yeah. Only in uh, Fallout New Vegas, they actually shoot 9mm ammunition. Nice. Which is something that uh, they don't have. They don't really have 9mm ammunition here in Fallout 4. Instead, they have 38s. Okay, well. Anyway, we got through that. I wonder if I got any. Uh... Yeah, I do. Mutant Hound Chops. Remove a small amount of radiation. Mm. Well. One thing I noticed, though, is that even if you cook stuff in Fallout New Vegas, it still applies some uh, radiation to you. For those guys. Jack wandering around in the world. that off there. Okay. I've done hardly anything at all with this place. <clears throat> but I guess it's a place while I'm exploring uh, and looting the... Uh, um, Cambridge area, I can store my junk when I get overloaded. Although 
we'll wander around and loot the uh, other rest of surface of Cambridge here off camera or for now. I think we'll uh, we'll just work on going into Wow. Any more? Seems like there's probably some around here. Maybe none that are coming this way yet. But you did have a caution on your sneak check. There's usually, well, let's see here. Yeah, there's one inside this thing. I'm guessing the Pulaski bomb shelters didn't do as good a job as they, <laughs> they advertised. Sweet. Ah, wow. It's a bad one. Yeah. Rapid pipe revolver pistol. Hmm. That rapid uh, uh, legendary is also one very much aimed at playing in, in vats. Mm hmm. If you don't use vats a lot, you don't really gain a lot of benefit from that particular legendary effect. Anyway, just, uh, oh, there he is. Oh, there's another one around here somewhere, too. Oh, right there. Couple another few. A couple of them. Oh, stop that. <laughs> Ghouls are such a pain in the ass to try and shoot sometimes. Anyway, as I was saying, I were about to say, uh, to the uh, completionists out there who uh, might be worried that I'm not going to be running around looting the entire area here. I'm going to do that off camera just because it's not the most exciting thing to do. So we're going to go in here and accomplish the mission. Oh, there's still one chasing me around here somewhere. Go. Is he out behind you? I don't know. They're, they're sneaky little shits, that's for sure. Well, I'm not supposed to say that. Uh, ah, who cares? Fuck him. <laughs> Carry all good now? Nope, not yet. Still haven't killed them all. Yeah, it seems like in, in Fallout New Vegas, Feral Ghouls, maybe it was just because I was unlucky or something, but it seemed to me like they hit a lot harder. Because I wasn't really having too much trouble with most enemies until I got to the point... Well, here he comes. comes until, I, until I got to the point where I was actually uh, up against a couple of Feral Ghouls, and then... Basically, I just turned tail and ran after taking a few, uh, you know, pretty hard hits, right? Uh, and after shooting them, you know, several times and not being able to really do very much back to them. Because they appear to be very uh, resistant to damage, nice. too. Well, I couldn't give you much advice on, you, on it there, because uh, I've never actually played a follow game before. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear little footsteps. Oh, there. Okay, is that finally all of them? No. Nope. I don't know, maybe you might have to get up on top of the rooftops. Maybe there's one stuck in one of these buildings or something. Maybe. Oh well, we'll come back for him later. Unless he follows us in here. <sighs> See, I'm going to have to switch now to that 10 millimeter pistol because I'm uh, starting to run out of 38s. You're starting to run out of everything, man. Yeah. <laughs> but 
anyway, it's uh, it's interesting. Like they they even have a, a bolt action gun, small caliber gun called the Varmint rifle, which I remember seeing being added into uh, uh, Fallout Four in a mod as well. So, yeah, I mean, it seems like uh, a lot of these people who make mods currently for uh, Fallout 4 have spent some time playing Fallout New Vegas. And reintroducing things from past games. Yeah, and actually, though, a lot of the uh, uh, models, they look like the New Vegas versions of the game, but uh, they actually look better. You know, like, like I was commenting about how all of the uh, textures and stuff like that in this game seem to have a bit more detail. Yeah. And the same can be said of a lot of the uh, mod-added weapons and stuff. Like, I did run the uh, Grease Gun uh, weapon mod in this game for a while. Yep. Before I rebuilt my game some months ago. But... Uh, you know, I have to say that the the model, while it looked exactly like the one in New Vegas, it uh, it actually did look better, too. Right? Like the, the like I said, the texture was nicer. It was just. Uh, I imagine the uh, shading and ambient lighting in this game is just a little bit nicer too. Yeah. But even the, the reload animation was pretty much the same, you know, like uh, we did, I think a, I think you did a little bit of reading up on uh, the grease gun God. and you were telling me about it. And how they actually have to, uh, you know, like work the, the bolt back and forth with their finger a little bit. Yep. After uh, reloading the gun and that kind of thing. And uh, that is all there. Yeah, I think eventually, uh, like, they started out with a charging handle, and then eventually they actually did away with that and had it so there was, like, a, a place where you could put your fingers in the in the groove in the bolt and just pull it back like that. Yeah, and that's exactly <laughs> what the, uh, you know, like, when, when you reload the gun, that's exactly what your character does, right? So, very well done. And, uh... You know, like the main difference is that in Fallout New Vegas, uh, the grease gun fires nine millimeter ammunition, like I think I might have mentioned earlier. Whereas there is no nine millimeter ammunition in uh, Fallout Four, so it, I think the guy who did the mod made it fire forty fives. I can't remember what it fired in uh, uh, real life. I think it was actually the uh, cut down cost cut down variant. Or the cost cut down replacement for the Thompson submachine gun. And uh, I think that fired 45s. Yeah. Well, they also didn't call it the grease gun in Fallout New Vegas. They called it the 9mm submachine gun. But, <laughs> well, there but, you go. But anyway, it basically, it's a, gun. it's a grease gun. It looks exactly like the grease gun. It looks exactly like the, the, the historical weapon, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe the Thompson wasn't nine mil. I can't remember. No, I think it was a forty-five. But yeah, I guess I, uh, the the grease gun was cost reduced, and then it was also fire rate reduced, so that they could conserve ammunition better too. I think. Yeah. Those were two of the design choices made in that gun. I'm not supposed to break in here, but uh, I have no companion with me to disapprove, so I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> That's it. Hell yeah. Because there is some stuff in here to loot. Including that uh, magazine and some antibiotics, which we can always use. Yeah, the uh, terminal hacking game appears to be a lot harder to do in, uh, in Fallout New Vegas. Like uh, here, you know, you have novice terminals that have words that have four, maybe five letters in them. 
Yeah. Whereas the first terminal that I encountered and tried to hack in Fallout New Vegas had all words that had like eight or nine uh, letter words, right? Uh. Although it looked like the hacking game was pretty much the same, so... You know, like I said, I didn't really uh, mod Fallout New Vegas very much. But one of the mods, the first mods that I did install was a hacking mod. <laughs> <laughs> really? that, that, that works much like the one that I use in this game, where uh, you go into hack and so long as you've got sufficient uh, skill level to be able to, to um, you know, hack the terminal to begin with, it just gives you the answer. <laughs> Jeez. Well, because it's it's actually hard, right? And uh Well the New Vegas version is harder anyway. And uh I don't know whether that was like a higher level terminal. It didn't it doesn't really say, like it doesn't display the level of terminal that you're looking at either here from what I can remember. It's just a it's just a terminal. But yeah, they have a completely different um, and somewhat more detailed skill uh, system as well. Because uh, not only do you get perks and that kind of thing, but you also actually get skill levels in a variety of different skills. And I kind of like that. It's, it's another one of those things where they kind of, uh, um, I guess, remove some features. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of like in a, from Oblivion to Skyrim as well. They they removed a few features and that kind of thing. Um, as well as, you know, adding some things, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that little 10 mil did you wonders through here. Yep. Oh, yeah. 10 millimeter pistol is a good weapon. No, no doubt about it. And it kind of allows me to uh, rebuild my stock of, of uh, other ammunition. I can almost switch back to uh, shotgun again now. The lock picking works very similarly. Got it. Between uh, New Vegas and this game, they poor didn't, Oblivion lockpicking. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't really change that very much. No, I didn't. I don't. Still don't like. <laughs> I don't like the Oblivion. You know that in my mind is an improvement. Okay. You know, like they they uh, they left a lot of things oh, behind man. in Oblivion that I wish they would have carried forward into uh, into. Uh, Skyrim and and kind of you know like I haven't played New Vegas a lot yet so I'm not extremely familiar with it but uh, it looks to me like there are a few features in New Vegas that I wish they had kept for uh, uh, this game as well but the Oblivion lock picking thing is not something that I miss See, I love the Oblivion lockpicking thing. If there was a mod to patch it back in, I would. I think there <laughs> might. I think there might be actually. You really? Oh is yeah. Actually, I think so. Well, there you go. Now I have to go find that one. Yeah, I could be wrong. But you know what? I prefer yes. the rotary lockpicking thing to the uh, other thing where you got to push the pins up and all that nonsense. Because I found the. The oblivion lock picking thing to be frustrating. <laughs> ah well. It's for some people and not for others, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I for one am glad that they uh, went the way that they did. And I'll have to download a mod to make it go back. Yeah, if it exists. I don't remember now, but <laughs> hey. I think 
I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a mod for it because there are, you know, like one of the funny things that I've discovered from going back and playing some of the older games that were the predecessors to these is that um, a lot of the things that you see as mods in this game, for example, are like you know, things that came from things, old games. Are things that came from old games, like we were talking about the guns here a few minutes ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and I mean, in, in I fact, guess... another fairly uh, well-known and popular gun mod, the Caravan Shotgun. Well, one of the main weapons that my character in Fallout New Vegas carries is a Caravan Shotgun. Mm. Sweet. <clears throat> well, uh, I guess if there's no such mod out there for the lockpicking, if I was feeling ambitious enough, I could always make my own. Yeah, well, oddly enough, though... Uh, you know, even though you say you don't play uh, Fallout 4, you have actually made some mods for Fallout 4. <laughs> you know, it's more like, uh, you know, you've it's been like, I want to an... make a mod, and I'm yeah. like, okay, I'll help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for you, it's an intellectual exercise rather than something that you want to do to enhance gameplay, right? Well, I just don't have uh, any context. I mean, I actually own Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas, and I think I own Fallout 3 too. I've just never gotten around to playing them. Yeah. I spend so much time working on my programming stuff that I don't really uh, have time to try a lot of new games. And they're not so new now, so it's been a number of years and I still haven't done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how these things end up, I suppose. It's easier to pick up a game you've already learned than pick up a new one. Yeah, well, I'm discovering that too because the uh, you know there is a bit of a learning curve in figuring out how to play New Vegas as well. How close are we getting to... Okay, we're still okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, You're stuck on that I'm little tiny on piece that of little concrete. Tiny, yeah. You know you want that broom can, and bucket. I can pick that broom and bucket up. I can. <laughs> I can. You can't do it. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. We can go back and get paid. All right. But maybe we'll do that next episode. Since we're pretty much out of time for the time being for this one. So hopefully, uh, you know, like, people didn't mind too much that we had a little bit of a lack of direction at the beginning of this one, but uh, we did decide on, on a course of action. Well, I'm Rec V5. And I'm Sandman99. Have a good one.